54 Americans came on this mission trip with Brent Gambrell leading the way even before we boarded the plane from Miami. I'm Brent. I'm your fearless leader, or fearful leader, whatever you want to call it. Julie, the cruise director, whatever you want to call me. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm really excited to see everybody. I think all the everybody is here. Um, we are uh, looking forward to an awesome week. The diversity of people here is amazing. And, and we'll talk about that today. My trip began earlier with my good friend Sherry, her two nephews, and my wife. With such a large group, I wondered if I'd really get the opportunity to get to know everyone. Entering Haiti airspace, I was able to spot several dwellings. Could this be from the Haiti relief effort? It has been over a year since the earthquake in 2010. I haven't been to Haiti since, but from the outside, the airport looked the same. The inside of the airport actually looked as if it has been upgraded. Escalators were working and the glass in area was new. Check out all the bags. Even with so many, the experience of corralling them and loading them on the truck went quite well. You never know how smooth things will go. This time, we had God's favor. <laughs> Haitian church. Even though I don't understand the language, I love knowing that we're worshiping the same God. And though I've been all over the world, God stopped my heart in Haiti. This was my first trip with Brent Gambrell Ministries. Usually, I volunteer with new missions. At the Overlook, I was able to see the Laogon Plains where New Missions is located. Because of the earthquake, they aren't accepting volunteers at the moment. 